Palestinian officials expressed approval as Saudi Arabia appointed its first ambassador to the Palestinian territories, even as the kingdom contemplates formalizing diplomatic ties with Israel. Ambassador Nayef al sadari currently the Saudi ambassador to Jordan, received a non-resident envoy position in Jordan, with the additional role of serving as Consul General in Jerusalem. This move signals a potential step toward establishing an official Saudi representation office in the occupied West Bank. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas's diplomatic advisor Majdi al-Khalidi acknowledged the significance of this step in strengthening the bilateral relations between the two countries. While Saudi Arabia's traditional approach has seen the Palestinian territories managed through its embassy in Amman, this move hints at a deeper engagement. Palestinian analyst Talal Okal interpreted the appointment as a message from Saudi Arabia emphasizing its commitment to Palestinian rights and a sovereign Palestinian state. This development comes amid efforts to normalize Israeli-Saudi relations, an endeavor that the United States has been involved in facilitating. Although officials from the US, Israel, and Saudi Arabia acknowledge the potential for normalization, they cite obstacles such as Israeli actions in the occupied West Bank and Saudi nuclear power ambitions. Saudi Arabia has maintained that it will not establish ties with Israel until the Palestinian conflict is resolved. While the immediate establishment of full diplomatic relations between Saudi Arabia and Israel remains uncertain, the appointment of an ambassador to Palestine signifies a noteworthy move that could impact the ongoing diplomatic discourse between these key Middle Eastern players.